Hi, so I'm Miles Legra, a French designer from Paris. I graduated uh, last September 2020 uh, from uh, activity department. Um, so my project came up at a moment of my scholarship where I was a bit, uh, uh, I felt a bit lost uh, in terms of uh, creativity and inspiration. Um, because the fact is that nowadays the statute of the designer is const constantly redefined uh, because of all the uh, global issues our society is fa facing. So um, all the topics such as uh, economic, uh, political, uh, social and environmental. Uh, and the fact is that uh, designers have to be concerned about th these topics and somehow implement them into their work. Um, but for young designers and especially makers, sometimes it can be uh, a bit paralyzing to uh, work with this, um, with this topic. Um, and so at this moment, I started to look at back my childhood to, um, uh, because I remember that at that time I was really creative. Um, so uh, this project was a way for me to uh, get back to these uh, childhood roots um, and I got inspired by the uh, Lego system to create like uh, plaster pieces that I could use to uh, play with and create molds uh, to be able to create a, a wide variety of uh, um, casted ceramic pieces. Um, so it comes from a desire to really find find back this uh, spontaneity that I had when I, uh, when I was a child. This graduation was also a bit special, of course, because of the, co uh, the COVID-19. Um, but I think for me, the biggest challenge was uh, money-wise. Because of course, when you graduate, you want to uh, give the best of yourself, but also that your project look the uh, most professional as possible. Uh, and this means that you have to be ready to um, put money into like proper uh, 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 techniques and uh, materials but you also have to keep in mind that of course like you are still a student so you always have to find a balance between like the money and money you you are ready to put in and the money you really have so yeah I think that's the biggest challenge as a uh, graduating people yeah well luckily um, I took the right decision before to start this graduation uh, to rent a studio um, with uh, shared uh, workshops. So, because the Netherlands didn't have like a real proper lockdown, uh, I, I could still go there um, and then my life could be summed up uh, between my house and the studio. So, I think compared to some other students, I was lucky that I could still work on physical things. I think in five years I would like to work for uh, a studio um, because actually I think it's the best way to get used to um, things that you have to know when you want to work for, so for, for yourself. So I would like first to work for someone else, um, be as versatile as possible and then maybe in the future uh, start to think about how to develop myself as an independent studio. Yeah.